tutorial on how to play Parallel Line by Keith Urban. We're on standard tuning. There's no capo. In this tutorial, we are going to look at the chords. We have a C with the root and the G, an F, an A minor, and a G chord. And then we're going to talk about this lick. At the end of the video. So if you're looking to learn how to play that lick, go ahead and skip towards the end. If you already know those chords, go ahead and skip a little bit ahead here as well. Um, cause I'm going to go through those real quickly. So for a C, your index is on the first fret of the B string. Your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the D, which is the third string down. And then your ring finger is all the way up top on the third fret of the low E. Pinky is on the third fret of the A string. Play all six strings. For your A minor chord, you're going to have your index on the first fret of the B. Middle is going to be on the 2nd fret of the D again, but now your ring finger is tucked underneath on the 2nd fret of the G. And you can play those 5 strings. For your F chord, you're going to keep that index finger there on the 1st fret of the B. Middle fingers on the 2nd fret of the G. Ring fingers on the 3rd fret of the A. And your pinky is tucked under on the 3rd fret of the D. And you don't want to play that high E, it's okay if you do, but you want to just play those 4 strings. And then finally, for our G chord, we have our ring finger on the 3rd fret of the high E, middle finger is on the 3rd fret of the low E, and your index is on the 2nd fret of the A. So those are our chords. Um, the progression itself here starts out on a C with the root and the G, and our strumming with the chord progression sounds like this. Nice and slow here. And that's it for the strumming and the chord progression. So it's just C, F, A minor, G, C, F, A minor, and then G. And that's all there is to it. So now for the lick here. So we're going to start with our ring finger on the 5th fret of the G string. Slide up to the 9th. Meanwhile, place our index finger on the 8th fret of the B. And then play that note, and then put your pinky on the 10th fret of the B. So that first part sounds like this. We're going to do the same thing for the second part. We're going to play the 5th, slide to the 9th, play your 8th fret of the B again. But now you're going to go back to your 7th fret on the G. And that's all there is to it. So, that's the lick. You already know the chord progression and the strumming pattern that goes along with it. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs here before mid-February.